This is called The Fight, and I love being back here. I, I came to New Mexico for Indian boarding school, an art school, the Institute of American Indian Arts, when it was in the old place with the old buildings. They went and tore down and upset all of us. <laughs> and, um, and it was a BIA school there and a Bureau of Indian Affairs school. And you know, in our classrooms, we still, in one of our classrooms, we still had those stoves up in the late 60s that were used to teach just a few classes before to teach our young women how to uh, clean houses for people here in Santa Fe. And we still had those farms, the, the old barns out back for teaching the young men dairy farming. It wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long ago at all, but I've been, you know, this place has really fed my whole vision, you know, being in an incredible uh, class with young native artists from all over, native artists from all over the country. And that started really, certainly feeding my vision and our generational vision started way back with our ancestors and our people and the lands. But there it started coming together. And then later at the inst at, uh, I, I, at um, University of New Mexico Kiva Club, which was on the edge of thinking, okay, we're a community. We're not just native students, but we're, we're native students who are part of all these communities. And uh, we were working for social justice, human rights. And that was part of, that's part of our education. And the poetry came out of that. And I always associate my poetry voice for, it, we, I came here and it began and found its home here. But along the way, all of us as artists and human beings, we have our struggles. And as Native people, certainly you add struggles on top of that. And this is about that. And embedded in this, of course, is our traditional Muscogee system, but that would take a while to discuss. But it's in the poem. It's called The Fight. We all go through this fight, every human being in here. So when you look around at somebody and you're thinking they're better than you or they've got it easier or why didn't this happen to me, or you can't judge anybody else's life. You know, everybody else has this. Everyone, everyone in here has their own struggles. Child, teenager, young man, old man, woman. The fight. The rising sun paints the feet of night crawling enemies and they scatter into the burning hills. I have fought each of them. I know them by name from before I could speak. I've used every weapon to make them retreat, yet they return every night if I don't keep guard. They elbow through openings in faith, tear the premise of trust, and stick their shields through the doubt of smoke to challenge me. I grow tired of the heartache of every small and large war passed from generation to generation. But it is not in me to give up. I was taught to give honor to the house of warriors, which cannot exist without the house of the peacemakers. <laughs> 